in the vast living world of biodiversity man appears as the most miraculous animal because of his superiority in the living world man wants to dominate the nature even the paleontologists with their hard endeavor could be able to reveal the history behind the appearance of man on this earth man has no disbelief now on their similarity with the monkeys and we now take apes as our forefathers now how to place man in this living world the famous taxonomist linnaeus included man in the family hominidae the present scientific name of man is homo sapiens sapiens this means that man belongs to the family hominidae the species is sapiens even man is included within a subspecies called sapiens the man exhibits may similar features with the monkeys and apes and therefore all of these animals belong to the order primate scientists believe that the early primate probably evolved some 60 to 75 million years ago from the tree shrews the primitive primate shows two lines of evolution along one line of evolution the primates showed evolution of man whereas on the other line of prosimenas gave the origin of monkeys it is mentioned here that the prosimenas are the old world monkeys and the monkeys of the present day are the new world monkeys In 1871 Charles Darwin in his book The Descent of Man enlightened on the evolution of man and he stated that man and ape evolved from the same ancestor but Darwin could not able to give any supportive evidence in favor of his ideas and this time only the fossils of Neanderthal and Cro-Magnon man were discovered from Germany. Scientists believe that Homo erectus is the most immediate forerunner of Homo sapiens. From the dating of fossils it could be detected that Homo sapiens appeared about 5 million years ago. So now come the most difficult and tricky part to remember the sequence of the human evolution that is the human ancestors so let me describe it in a very tricky way using the mnemonics so what is the mnemonics for remembering dr rama visited australia taking handy camera made in java instead picking new camera made of modern make So doctor means Dryopithecus, Rama, that is Ramapithecus, Australia, Australopithecus, handy camera, that is handyman, or you can say Homo habilis, made in Java, Java man, then come picking, that is the pecking man, then come new, that is Neanderthal, camera, Cro-Magnon, and modern make, modern man. So next come the time of origin of this. human ancestors so dryopithecus the most ancient one which originated about 20 to 25 million years ago then thereafter ramapithecus 14 to 15 million years ago australopithecus 2 million years ago homo habilis or the handyman 1.2 to 1.5 million years ago homo erectus or java man 1.5 million years ago homo sapiens neanderthal that is the 1 lakh to 40000 years ago and finally the modern man that is homo sapiens 75000 to 10000 years ago that is the ice age now let's discuss from where this skeleton or the fossils of this human ancestors were found first is the dryopithecus then followed by ramapithecus so dr rama remember the mnemonics so dr rama being an indian name both dryopithecus and ramapithecus these fossils were found in the shivalik hills in india so ramapithecus and dryopithecus both were found in india even 
Europe also you can remember. Next come the Australopithecus. Though the name is Australopithecus, don't get confused with Australia because the full name is Australopithecus africanus. So the place from where it was discovered was the East African grassland. Next come the Homo habilis. Homo habilis, which is also known as handyman, this was also found, the fossils were found in Tanzania or East Africa. So remember the sequence, first to India, Siwali Hills, second to Africa, East Africa, grassland or Tanzania. Next come the Homo erectus. So Homo erectus, as you have remembered the mnemonics, so that is called the Java man, Java in Indonesia. Next come the Homo sapiens Neanderthal. You can remember Neanderthal in Central Asia. Even Peking man. Peking is in the place near Beijing. You can remember by this way. And the Cro-Magnon. Cro-Magnon itself then is a name of a place in France that you can remember. And lastly, the modern man or Homo sapiens sapiens that arose in Africa and they developed Cape art. That is very, very important. Now we have just come to the end of the topic. Let's discuss about some very important key features of the various human ancestor. You have to just remember one or two points for each type. First is the Dryopithecus. So you just remember hairy body, soft fruits and leaves they ate and their arm and legs were of the same length. That is very important and the brain was very large. So any of the two or three you can remember it is very easy. Next come the Ramapithecus. You see they had teeth like modern man and they walked more like erect posture. Next come Australopithecus. Australopithecus they generally uh, used stones to hunt and they ate fruits. Their brain capacity was 400 to 600. Remember we are starting the brain capacity from Australopithecus. So the brain capacity was 400 to 600 cc. Next time Homo habilis. One of the very important point is that they were the first hominid that is human being like and their brain capacity was 650 to 800 cc and remember they did not eat meat. It is very very important point. Next come Java man or Homo erectus. This was found in uh, like Java I have already told you and the brain capacity is in, in increasing order that is 900 cc well, probably they ate meat so just remember the brain capacity next come homo sapiens Neanderthal they were generally having a brain capacity of 1400 cc and this type of primitive man they used the hides to protect their body and very important that is they buried the dead bodies and last come the modern man that is uh, they uh, created human settlement and civilization. My dear students hope you understood the topic. I have simplified the topic because I know most of you run away from this topic. A lot of information are there to remember. Do remember the mnemonics and one at least general feature of each primitive ancestors of human. If you have liked the content of the video, then please do put a big like and don't do misery for that. And please do share it with your friends to get them benefit out of this video. And if you have not yet subscribed my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Take care.